Hey guys, this is Chase. Welcome to my office at Highland. Um, today, we're going to be starting a new book, and we're going to be starting in Philippians chapter 1. And Nolan Sullivan is giving a lesson, and it's awesome. I've already listened to it. So enjoy it. Peace. Hey guys, this is Nolan Sullivan, and I'm going to be teaching from Philippians 1. In Philippians, Paul is in prison in Rome, captured and imprisoned, because he has been preaching the good news freely. From this prison, he is writing letters addressed to the Christians of Philippi, a place where he recently established a church. Now, Paul has been through a lot. He has traveled all around the world as a missionary, doing whatever he can to spread God's word to everyone. He has performed miracles, healing the sick and helpless. He has been wrongly imprisoned several times and has sometimes even been broken out of prison by the power of God. This time, he carries out the will of God from prison, sending guidance to his fellow believers. But Paul's imprisonment doesn't just help through his letters. Philippians 1, 12 through 14 says, I want you brothers and sisters to know that what has happened to me has helped to spread the good news. All the palace guards and everyone else knows that I am in prison because I am a believer in Christ. Because I am in prison, most of the believers have become more bold in Christ and are not afraid to speak the word of God. So Paul's imprisonment has caused many people, even the palace guards, to see that he is a believer in Jesus. It has probably caused some to become followers themselves. Now, often when we think of hardships or resistance, we think of something we want to get out of and something that brings only bad things. But Jesus went through immense pain and suffering and brought us forgiveness and great joy. God can spread good things by lifting us up or throwing us a hard pitch. Paul says in verse 6 that God began doing a good work in you, and I am sure he will continue it until it is finished, when Jesus Christ comes again. And then in verse 29 he states, God gave you the honor not only of believing in Christ, but also of suffering for him both of which bring glory to Christ. A lot of people believe in Christ, but do we ever really suffer for him? Most of the time we don't realize that our suffering has the potential to bring him glory. How we react when things aren't going our way, the attitude with which we respond to hard things in our lives, those can show the people around us that we believe in God, that God is working, and that we have faith to follow him in spite of our suffering. Although this is addressed to, to the Philippians, it applies to all Christians. God is working in whatever we do, in whatever we go through, no matter how difficult or taxing it is. The popular worship song, Waymaker, says, Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. Since we live in America in 2020, we have little or no experience of real pain or suffering. But we still go through hard times and face challenges. Life has thrown us quite the curveball with COVID-19, and now we are stuck at home a lot of our time. Almost everything is shut down or canceled, and there is a lot of fear going around, spreading even faster than the virus. But the pandemic has given us the time and opportunity to rethink how we treat others, and it's taught us how to problem solve with big things. Through whatever life sends our way, we must be standing strong with one purpose, like it says in verse 27. I encourage everyone to consider the good things happening as a result of the bad ones, to look for God working in everything. My challenge to you for this week comes from 1 Peter 5, 9. Stand firm against him and be strong in your faith. Remember that your family of believers all over the world is going through the same kind of suffering that you are. I hope this is really uplifting, encouraging to you guys. Bye.